Hey guys. So in our little shop series here with sheet metal, we've been talking about, uh, you know, making brackets and reinforcing them with dimple dies and breaks and bead rolls and things like that. And as we go on through this, we're going to uh, get into actually doing some of those things and making different things so you can see the process. But before I can get into the process, I kind of want to go over some of the tools that we use, familiarize yourself with what we're using. I'm finding there are a really considerable amount of people that are novices and they're just getting started with sheet metal. And it's a lot of things they don't know about some of the, the tools that are available. So today's video is just gonna be, might be a little boring for the people that are a little more advanced, but this is just gonna kind of show some of the equipment that we use for sheet metal, uh, just some light fabrication as far as cutting goes. So some of the obvious, you got sheet metal shears, there's Straight cut, left and right, so on. My favorite, the sawzall. <laughs> you use a jigsaw. There are cutoff wheels that can be used. The air hacksaw. Uh, this little tool is called a nibbler. Sheet metal goes in here. And what it does is it just keeps cutting little, looks like little fingernails, little fingernail cuts. So it makes a rather wide cut. But it does a nice job, especially if you got to cut, drill a hole and make a circle in something. It's a pretty neat little tool. The old tried and true air chisel. Um, many different type of bits that you can use. And uh, rather loud and noisy and very rough. Um, you know, if you're going to cut a quarter panel off a car, they work really well. Um, this is a neat tool. Um, rather inexpensive. It is a, basically a mini skill saw but it's made for metal. It uses a small skill saw blade and it has little carbide or tungsten tips. It does really well, whether it's sheet metal or right on up to three eighths, half inch plate. Uh, you just gotta go really slow with it. Catches all your metal tips in here and just kind of dump them out for each use, but uh, very interesting tool. This particular one I got from Eastwood. Um, there's a ton of companies out there that sell them but they're pretty reasonable. Um, so that's a neat tool that uh, if you're just getting started and you want something simple that'll cut, this will cut a lot of different things. And then we step up into some of the little heavier duty stuff. You have a plasma cutter. A uh, plasma cutter uses the ground and then there's a cutting tip. This will literally cut clean through half inch plate like it were warm butter. Um, but they're a little expensive, not for the novice. Um, then we get into some things like a little more heavy duty, like an iron worker, for example. Now this machine, I love this machine. It cuts my work in half. <laughs> it's uh, extremely strong, cuts pretty much plate, angle iron. It'll punch holes, it does a bunch of things. Now I'm gonna give you just a quick demonstration of this because you gotta understand something, this machine will take your finger, your hand, your leg, your foot, whatever you put into it, and it will not shed a tear. So you have to treat this machine with a lot of respect. Um, once you go around the other side. Uh, and a piece of two inch angle iron. pretty much whatever you put in it. And no remorse. Put it in the bottom here for shear. My flat stock. And as you can see, keep the metal is that you can it out. So this can literally make it perfectly straight cut. There's another option if you're getting into big fabrication jobs. But for the majority of what we're doing, we're just gonna use a lot of hand tools, um, some things that uh, the average person can afford and, and get involved in pretty quick. Because quite frankly, uh, when you're just getting started, financial is, is usually a big part of it. Um, but I'm showing you some of the equipment and the things that we use basically. So as we get into it and start doing things, 
you'll understand that uh, what we're using, you know, where, where the tool came from. So today, uh, I just basically wanted to show you some cutting tools and some of the things that we use to do sheet metal. In probably two or three weeks, I have a, a, a Studebaker coming in, pick up, that's uh, pretty beat up. And I'll do a pretty in-depth video on some of the hammer work, knocking out the dents and straightening that out. So you might want to stay tuned for that one. Uh, but stick with us. The, the introduction to tools is only going to last a little while. Uh, but we will get into actually doing some things, you know, cutting and actually fabricating some stuff. But uh, I hope this uh, kind of enlightened you a little bit and, you know, kind of inviting you to stick around. And uh, if you like what you see, and make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week.